Hey, welcome back to another episode. So in the last episode, we kind of got a few things in here, but we didn't get a chance to kind of look at them. Um, so I'm going to do that first. Molly, want a cracker? It's me, Guybrush Streetwood, Whitey Pirate. <laughs> Pretty sure that this is going to be some sort of uh, throw, uh, throw the voice kind of thing. I just bet that Hemlock's map holds the secret to getting off this island and back to Elaine. But how will I get it out of that unbreakable bottle? Okay. I imagine I have to visit the uh, the glass blower for that. But for now, let's look at this weather vane. Hmm. Guess this thing fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. LeChuck episode. Oh, I guess hmm. when he was Looks talking. like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. Well, all right. We'll go to the right. Oh, I got a comment, um, what this could be for. If someone was throwing something at me, it could be, uh, directed back at them, like a ricochet. So, uh, that could be useful, if that's what it's for. Hmm. Um. I guess I can go to the right. No, use the arrow keys. Not used to using the arrow keys in the adventure games. Okay. Um, okay. I was afraid my game froze up for a second. Hey there, Freeport! You mind if I get your pirate on the street opinion about the Death Cloud? Death Cloud? The Pox of LeChuck! The Pox of LeChuck? Hmm. Pox of LeChuck. Nah. Two on the nose, not a pizzazz! Death Cloud is punchy. More in your face, more. Ooh, I'm gonna die! Well, I got sick pirates to interview. See ya! Have fun. I'm going to. Is that it? I don't even see a Death Cloud. I can see it's sort of greenish. Oh, it's called a Swirling Pox Vortex. Today's forecast calls for the Pox of the Chuck oozing in from the Rock of Gelato, combining with lots of stubbornly sucking winds to create a Cat 5 Fred Storm. Uh, was this from the previous game or something? I don't remember any, uh, Pox of a Chuck, but sure. Unicorns! Get your hand-blown glass, unicorns! What can you tell me about this bottle? Arr, that'd be one of me special unbreakable bottles. Unbreakable? Ha! Ah, there isn't a bottle alive that's a match <laughs> for my gift for destruction. Impressive. The sacred ingredients are those jagged crystal reefs. They're tougher than diamonds. Ah, yeah. okay. But what do you do if you want to open one of these unbreakable bottles in order to, say, look at an ancient scroll you've cleverly sealed inside? Arr, that's a good question, lad. Here, show you how it's done. I use this little beauty to chip off flakes from the reefs and to crack open bottles like this one. Whoa! So let me get this straight. Your unbreakable bottles are, in fact, opened by breaking them? Don't get cute, Blandy. I break other things too, you know. Okay. Can I get one of those? I'm back. Aye, so you are. Could you use your nifty bottle breaking tool to break open a bottle for me? Of course! Great! That'd be 37 pieces of eight. I don't have any. What? I haven't got any pieces of eight. Then I guess I won't be breaking any bottles for you. Oh. I could probably just steal it. Um. Okay. I'll let you return to your fancy schmancy glass blowing. Aye, right. and I'll let you return to being a pest. Let's see. Look, a three-headed monkey. Uh. Hey, keep your grubby mitts off me, bottle breaker. Well, he didn't have to be so slow about a guy rush. He was like just crawling up there. Meh. Can I take it now? Can I take it now? Huh? Anything changed here yet? No. Bonjour. Ugh. Hi there. Are you a doctor? Mais oui. I am the Marquis de Singe. 
former court physician to King Louis himself. And who might you be? Guybrush Threefoot, mighty pirate. Zut Your hand. Yeah, I seem to have come down with something. This is fantastic! We must investigate at once! Okay. I like how his hair... Hmm. Oh, it's interesting. Alors. And you say your sick little hand has a mind of its own? Yeah, it keeps hitting people, making rude gestures, doing all sorts of stuff I'd never do. Well, not without a really good reason, anyway. Fascinating. So, can you fix it? Monsieur Sripwood, you have my word as a former physician of the court of King Louis that by the time you leave here, your misanthropic hand will never trouble you again. Cool. Um, what I was trying to say outside was, um, I liked how his hair was blowing in the wind and his was not. Um, that's something that I would think is probably a mistake and nobody noticed. Anyway. So who the hell are you? So how did Dazzling Urbanite like yourself wind up in a sleepy pirate island like Flotsam? Ah, mon ami! That is a tale of triumph and tragedy. Many years ago, I was a young physician in the court of King Louis. Those were eighty days, tending to the many ills of the aristocracy, navigating scandalous palace intrigues. I was a rising star in the scientific firmament. Okay, jeez, I don't and need the close-up. I mean, then? A conspiracy of jealous scientists accused me of performing inhuman cross-breeding experiments with the Queen's poodles! Scientists can be so catty. Uh, the King was outraged and ordered me exiled on this deserted tropical island. Deserted? Then you were the first? Oui. Happily, my solitude was short-lived, as the merry winds of Flotsam have conspired to bring me many new pirate patients over the years. Okay. Oh, monkey. Hey. Uh... Scientifically speaking, what do you think is the cause of these crazy winds swirling around Flotsam? Ah, yes, the winds. Personally, I'm convinced that they are a rare but perfectly natural meteorological phenomenon caused by a Lagrange inversion of the atmospheric humors in the upper troposphere, causing a counter-cyclonic... Ah, uh... forget I asked. Incroyable! So, Doc, what's the verdict? Ah, oh, monsieur, you are a very lucky man. Cool. I am? Why? Ah, oui. The disease spreading through your saucy little parrot hand is like nothing I've ever seen before. That doesn't sound very lucky. In fact, somewhere in that easing appendage may lie the secret to life itself. It may? Hey, nice going, Han. I'll know more after I cut it off. <laughs> what? Hey! Uh, this is not a good situation. But of course, Monsieur Sripwood, the only cure for a hand that infected is a quick, clean amputation. Amputation? Isn't that a little rash? No, it's a very big rash, which is why we'll have to amputate. But not to oh, worry, Monsieur. Psh. Your hand won't feel a thing thanks to my specially concocted grog anesthetic. Ow! Why would grog be anesthetic? Now, Does it make any sense? If you'll just relax here a few minutes, I'll be in the back sharpening my petit guillotine blade. We don't want to cut off our hand with a dull blade now, do we? Well, I guess you have a point there. Au revoir. What I need that loop. key. But at least my hand seems under control for a while. I better figure out a way out of this tastefully appointed abattoir before the Marquis de Crazy Pants comes back. Yeah. Oh, this is weird. Okay, examination table can be moved by using A and D to rotate left. Uh, okay. Oh. So, can I... This is a little unorthodox. I don't know what to do. Um. Hold on. Oh, I can probably click on stuff, maybe. It's a cute little baby bell. I can't reach it from this position. It's a beautiful rendering of the classic Pirate Da Vinci. If I had to guess, I'd say that was one of Desinja's former patients. Probably one who came in with a hangnail. Yeah. I wonder what's in that box. 
That's where I keep poor little Jacques. Now that I've nursed him back to health after his terrible ordeal, I'm training him to help out around my laboratorium. Oh, well, thanks for coming in and telling me that. I wonder what that does. That is my experimental Futro volume, which pulls lightning from the skies via these cute little voids. Why would you do that? Science! For science! Okay. It's a key! I can't reach it from this position. Oh, why are there two keys? Hmm. Yeah? I've heard of these. I think they're called... microscopes. I prefer the term in La Jorama. And I prefer to rip your gizzard out, you sniveling sea slug! Whoa, what was that? That's the door to Desinja's balcony for mad doctoring alfresco. Uh huh. This looks like it might do something interesting. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> Ouch! That looked unpleasant. Wait, okay, so something just happened. If I do this, it shocks the monkey? Why would I do Sorry. that, though? The only thing I can do right now is to, to shock the monkey, but it doesn't help. Wait a sec. Is he enjoying this? Hmm. I guess if you do it enough times, so he'll eventually enjoy it. It's the box for Jacques. Hmm. The Jacques in the box. Ah. Of course it would. The singe is back there, sharpening his blades. Did he say something? No, just talking to myself. I do that sometimes. You know I can cure that too. No thanks, I'm good. As you wish. I'm a little confused on what I could do here. It's a key. I can't reach it from this position. Yeah, but I can't do it from the other position either. Feats don't fail me now. Oh, I can. Score one for the pirate with the pointy feet. Okay. I hope this works, or I'm about to throw away a perfectly good key. <laughs> Yuck! Bad monkey! After I take care of Monsieur Sweepwood, it's back in the box for you! Listen, monkey, if you and I work together, we can both bust out of this joint. What do you say? Are you with me? <laughs> That's the universal symbol for yes. Okay, how is this monkey gonna help? It's a pedal that causes that machine over there to go crazy. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Sick little monkey. It's a cute little baby bell. I can't reach it from this position. Uh... So, something about... They're talking about this machine. It's run by the voles. Get a piece of cheese in it. I guess? I haven't seen any cheese, though, I don't think. Come on, Jacques! Help a guy out! Wonderful. Ah, worthless monkey. I shock you. Oh, I don't know what to do here. S strange little puzzles someone set up here. It's an enlarger rama. It 
It's a machine that uses rodents to make lightning. Yeah, but somehow I need to get the monkey over there. Okay, well, mm, what does it say? Lightning and monkeys. What's the connection? Mm. I never know what to think of test tubes. I really hate tests, but I'm generally okay with tubes. Well, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I tried to open up my inventory. That looks like cheese. Mm. <laughs> it's the box for Jacques. Hmm. The Jacques in the box. It's a machine that uses rodents to make lightning. I'm actually impressed that you, you th that there's a for every position around the chair. There's a uh, a background. It's a pedal that causes that machine over there to go crazy. It's one of those things that I just start to appreciate nowadays. It's a stack of pictures for that picture in beginning device over there. Come on, Jacques, help a guy out. Yeah, I know he wants Wonderful. cheese, but I haven't seen any. Oh, that picture. Hmm. hmm. Lightning and monkeys. What's the connection? I don't know. If I had a piece of cheese, I'd have a little more of an idea for you. That's the key to Singe used to lock me down. If only it weren't so far away. Can I get the monkey oh, to... Jock, help a guy out. Wonderful. There's no food here. Oh, I can use the arrow keys. Okay, that helps. Well, helps in the sense that the interface is a little it's an enlarger easier, ladder. but, um... Hey, buddy, how can I get any help here? Come on, Jacques, help a guy out! Wonderful. Well, that's not gonna work. Yeah, so whatever I do, I have to do it right here. It's a stack of pictures for that picture in beginning device over there. Did I already try lifting it and then, like, uh... It's a beautiful rendering of the classic Pirate Da Vinci. I mean, I get the idea they want me to have this machine running. Come on, Jacques, help a guy out. Wonderful. Sorry, I just keep forgetting which. It's a stack of pictures for that picture in beginning device over there. Which stuff I have done and what I have not done. What an amazing device! Ah, I see you have discovered my incredible Illumino Pico screen. It harnesses the power of light to amplify tiny drawings a thousandfold. Just imagine, someday people will be able to share hundreds of pictures of their holiday travels with their extended families simultaneously. You fiend! <laughs> I refuse. It's an enlarger rama. That's the door to DeSinge's balcony for mad doctoring al fresco. Oh my god, I should have figured this out, this puzzle out by now. I don't know. It's the box for Jacques. Hmm, the Jacques in the box. But I seem to be missing something here, which I'm sure I will figure out one way or another. I can't click anything. Uh, did the game bug out or something? Hold on a second. The hotspots aren't working. Come on, Jacques! 
help a guy out. Wonderful. Okay, now they're working. That was odd. Murray? I don't think he's Murray. Uh, come on. What's going on here? Picture of Gimer. It's a strange drawing of the inside of my hand. I call it La Disintegraph. I call it creepy. It's a disintegraph of the inside of my hand, bones and all. Creepy. Why can I not do anything? I saw a mini guillotine here for a minute. It's a cute little guillotine that's about to cut my hand off. Wait, the bottle rack? If I spent a few dozen years in a university, I bet I could combine these chemicals to create a powerful acid that would eat through my bonds. But I'm a pirate, so I'll just say R. Well, it's definitely a lot more convenient. Okay, it's, it's got to be something over here, but... It's the Singes It's a machine that puts pictures on a wall. Yeah. It's a beautiful rendering of the classic Pirate Da Vinci. This is silly. It's just definitely one thing that I'm missing, and then everything's just gonna fall into effort into place. But Ugh. see, this is why I hate like uh, games like Mist, where you know it's just one linear puzzle after another. So eventually, you have to just sit there until the something uses happens. Rodents to make lightning. You know, you're sitting there in one place, and then eventually you can click on something else, and then it'll work. And then you have to wait another t uh, ten minutes until you find what else you have to do. Shock something? It's a pedal that causes that machine over there to go crazy. Are these not the same puddle? Let's see what this does. Uh, Bananas Christ. from heaven! Thanks, Banana God! It wasn't the same pedal. Uh. <sighs> okay. It's a cute little bell that makes the monkey play with that picture machine over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem is, I have the wrong pictures. Just a second. Okay. Do this. Of course it wasn't the same puzzle puddle, was it? Or a pedal. Okay. So hopefully this should change something. Hopefully. There we go. Now Actually I think I wanna shock him now. Ouch! That looked unpleasant. Okay. Alright, feet. Make yourselves useful. Alright! A gross picture of my grosser hand. Things are looking up. What am I gonna do with this? Um. Eh? I don't think I wanna drop this there. I actually don't know where I would want to put this. Well, we'll try stuff. I don't think I want to drop this there. Do you want it, monkey? I don't think I want to drop this there. I don't think I want to drop this there. Whoops. Ah, okay. I meant to do that. Yeah, okay, so now... Um, banana pedal? Oops. Um. 
it's a cute little bell that makes the monkey play with that picture machine over there. Hold up. Change this. There we go. Now... Do something about this? See, now if I knew there were those two different puddle, uh, puzzles, bleh, pedals to different things, that would have been a little easier. Aha! Well, don't just sit, stand there, go get it. Give it to That's me. That's the key to Sinju's to lock me down. If only it weren't so far away. Come on, Jacques, help a guy out. Wonderful. Uh, shock pedal? Aha! Wow, an electromagnetic monkey! I had a dream like that once. Only it was an iguana, not a monkey. And instead of a key, it was an ice cream cone. Plus, I was in my underwear for some reason. So, it was a completely different dream, huh? <laughs> Alright. Now, wow. get over here. He seems excited about something. Yeah, he does, but I'm going to shock him and get him over here. Or the banana metal. Or pedal. <laughs> banana metal. I'm thinking of an old, old Tin and 64 game. Oh, whoops. Um, okay. Right, this one. The question is, which one... Ah, oh, I wanted to use this one, I think. There we go. That's it. Come on, you magnificent magnetic monkey. Yeah. Come on, can he do it? Gotcha! Ah. Now, to there work we go. the key into the lock. <clears throat> nice. Ta-da! I did a puzzle, hooray. Monsieur Sripoud, what do you think you're doing? Get back on the table at once. Sorry, Doc, but I think I should get a second opinion. Thanks for numbing up my hand, though. All that flailing and slapping was getting on my nerves. Wait! Man, I think he likes it a little too Wait, much. Stop! I must have your beautiful, justifying hand! Come back! Ah, lovely parrots! Leaving their trash floating all over the place! Hmm. A parrot hunter, eh? Uh. Looks like he's gonna be, uh. sticking a pirate hunter on me. Alright. Well. That was interesting. Um, I think I'm going to end this episode with a happy note that I survived the amazing machine that was. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.